Hello and welcome again. It is time we talk about uh, how to generate large primes in Java. If you remember uh, the sequence of videos that we about the RSA or how to produce uh, large primes, uh, there was an algorithm uh, to check whether a number is a prime or not. It was the miller raven algorithm. Now, in Java, there are a couple of um, things that you can do to generate large primes. And all of them have to, in, both of them have to do with the big integer class. Um, one of them is this first method that you see here, that is just here, probable prime. And it has two inputs here. Uh, this probable prime will generate a possible prime number according to some uh, probability that I will discuss in a second. So this probable prime has two inputs. One is the bit length. In other words, how big you want this uh, uh, probable prime to be. So um, usually for cryptographic application, you want to have that at least uh, 1024 bits. And we have to feed it some random bits. So the probable prime start uh, checking from these random bits uh, if it is a probable prime or not. This will always give you some number, which is a probable prime, according to some uh, probability. Now, as I said that, uh, this uh, returns a positive, always a positive big integer type. So this will, will not give you negatives. It, that's not a problem. If you want something negative, they just put a minus in front of it. That's all. And the probability that, that is, the output is a prime number is always bigger than or equal to 1 minus 1 over 2 to the 100, which is actually a very big probability. So if you actually go ahead and expand a little bit of that number here, that probability is bigger than or equal to 0. Point, a bunch of nines there. As you can see, it's uh, very close to 1. So the probability of that output being a prime number is actually what it says is really high. Now, the other way to produce prime numbers is uh, you are allowed to set the probability at which you are willing to uh, accept that as a prime number. But for this guy here, the probability is set for you. And the only thing you have to put into this is just the bit length of the prime that you want to have and some random bits that we're going to produce with some random uh, object. Now, uh, I, one thing I want to mention before I go into Eclipse is that this uh, method, probable prime, uses the miller rabin algorithm, the one we described in the RSA. And it also uses uh, some other method for checking prime, which is Lucas Lemmer algorithm. Now, we're not going to discuss uh, here the Lucas Lemmer algorithm, but it's also another way to check uh, for uh, prime numbers. So this function is implemented using these algorithms that are here. And of course, uh, some other methods are inside this probable prime uh, method. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to Eclipse and I'm going to show you uh, how do you actually use this probable prime method. All right, so now let's see how uh, we implement this uh, probable prime in in Java. So the first thing we have to do is we have to create a big integer object so we can hold that uh, large prime. So let's do a comment here. So we're going to create and uh, create first the uh, big integer object. And just uh, the only reason for that is because we want to hold uh, our prime number there. So, so let's just define our big integer object. So, uh, big integer, and let's call it uh, whatever you want in there. So, in this case, let's just say probable uh, p. Let's say something like that. So that will be the variable probable p. Will be that variable that will contain our our prime number. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to uh, tell uh, Java uh, how long we want that prime number. So let's say uh, here I'm going to make a comment. I'm going to say assign um, a value for, let's say, the bit length. And that bit length is going to be the length of my, of my prime number, whatever I want it to be. Now, that bit length has to be an integer type. So I'm going to define here some integer type. Now, if you want to read this from the console, uh, for example, you want every time you run the program, you want to uh, type uh, the size of your prime number. 
then we'll just read it from the console uh, in that case. So in this case, I'm just going to just give it an, uh, some kind of length here. So I'm going to call my variable uh, integer, or be it uh, length. Let's call it like this. And I'm going to define it to be, let's say, uh, 512 in this case. So it's 512 and 12 bits. That will be how long I, have, I want my prime to be. Now, remember uh, what I was writing on the blackboard, I had to have the big length and I also have to have a random object to create the initial bits from where that method is going to start uh, generating my uh, random prime number. So here I'm going to create a random object. And the only reason for that, remember, is just I have to start my, uh, my method with some random bits. So I'm going to say uh, random and I'm going to give it a name. So whatever you want, uh, I don't know, ran, something like that. And I'm going to say uh, new and that's going to be random. Now, the only thing that is that doing that is I'm creating just the random object there so I can use it as part of uh, the input for that probable prime. Um, method. Now, so we're gonna now assign. Let's do that. Assign uh, the probable prime. Now, the way we do it now is we're gonna use our variable here, which we create that is a big integer type. So I'm just gonna copy and paste it here, and I'm gonna say that is equal to. It's gonna be a big integer, so big integer that and this is what I'm going to call my uh, probable prime method so that's going to be probable prime and that's going to be the bit length which I call bit length so just there is and is I call my rent brand it will be the the bits uh, so that that's it so that variable probable prime will will hold my prime number and I just want to have to print it now so print uh, result and that's going to be just a uh, system that out that print line and then whatever I want to print so let's say I want to print that probable prime so probable prime probable p in this case we call it like that all right, so that's all we have to do there. So we have all the elements that uh, we need to uh, generate that prime number. And then once I run it, I'm going to save it first and I run it, then that will give me just uh, whatever uh, random uh, prime comes out of here. So let me run this. And as you can see, that gave me some very large number there. You cannot even see, see it in the screen. Let me go uh, here. So that's 512 bit uh, probable prime. Now, um, one thing I want to do a little bit more here, uh, this is a probable prime, and it, w it is probably a prime because the probability of this being not prime is just too small. But in any way, I want to take this number and I want to use another program to actually check that this is, this is actually a prime number. So I'm going to copy here. And I'm going to paste it into this program that I have here that I think I talked about a little bit a while ago during the class. That is a Pari GP, which is an specialized software for number theory. And this uh, software has a function to check whether or not something is a prime number. And the function for that is like this is prime and parenthesis. And I'm going to put the prime number there, the probable prime, close parenthesis. And whenever I press enter, it's going to, if it says one, it means it is a prime. If it is zero, it means it's not a prime. So if I run that, well, as you can see there, I get a one. So that is actually a prime number. And you will expect that to give you a prime number most of the time because the probability of that being prime is really close to one. Um, the only reason I did this uh, pi GP here is just to uh, check to double make sure that this is actually a prime number. So as you can see here, you're going to get a prime number that if you run it again, you're probably going to get another uh, prime number there because that's uh, probable prime gives you a random prime number every time you run it. So hopefully it will give you different primes 
as many times as you run it of course in the range that you are giving it so you are restricting that to 512 bits so you have to give you 400 512 bits maximum of that uh, prime number so that's how you use uh, the probable prime method to create prime numbers and uh, the other method what i'm going to do is i'm going to come back to the blackboard and explain a little bit how that uh, other way to create uh, large prime numbers works so i will go back to the blackboard so i'm here uh, back in the blackboard so i'm going to explain uh, the other way in which you can get another prime number uh, where you actually can uh, tell uh, Java what kind of uh, probability you want for that prime number. So if you want to specify the certainty, which is basically related with the probability, you basically just gonna use the constructor big integer. So just big integer here. It's gonna have uh, three inputs. The first input, as always, is gonna be the bit length of whatever prime you wanna generate. The second input is gonna be the certainty. So meaning the larger this is, the better the probability is, so the better in here means the closer to one it is. And of course the random bit. So here is the that extra thing where you set up your probability here, the certainty there. Now the probability that this construction will give you prime is bigger than or equal to one minus one over two to the certainty with the certainty is this integer type that you define here. Uh, again, but I'm gonna say that again, the larger the certainty, the larger the probability of getting a prime number. Um, now that is if you want to specify the certainty. The other method is just tell the probability is already set for you. This is just if you want to set the probability for your prime number. Now even the Java doc document says that it's recommended to use the other probable prime instead of this one. Uh, the reason for that is because the other one has already a high probability unless there is a compelling reason for you to actually set your own probability it's better just to use the other method because it gives you a, pro a probable prime with a high probability this one is you start messing around with this and you don't know what you're doing it's better not to use this constructor so it's better to use the other the other method uh, uh, for when you're writing prime numbers so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come back again to uh, eclipse and uh, I'm just going to show you, I'm going to type it all down because uh, I type very slowly. So I'm going to just show you what I type. And I will explain to you what the code does instead of typing it as I explain it. So I will come back to the Eclipse application. So I'm back here in the Eclipse application. So and I'm going to show you how to uh, use the big integer uh, constructor to get a probable prime number. So. So let's look at the first line of code. The first thing I want to do is I want to create a random object as we did with the previous uh, method. I'm going to call it ran again, as you can see there, that is already typed there. Now the other thing that the difference with this uh, constructor and the other method is that you're allowed to define your certainty. So that line of code that you see there, when I define my certainty, um, is going to be an integer type. At this moment, I have a setup to one, which is uh, bad that's gonna give me a probability of being a prime of one half point five so I'm gonna put it a little bit higher there so I'm gonna change that probability let's say to 45 something like that so that's gonna be my certainty the higher that number C the better the probability you're gonna have for that number big into your type being a prime so that defines your certainty and again as I as it says it's better to use the other one not this one Okay, but anyway, so let's let's go through the example. So the next line of code is just to show you what is the probability here. That line of code basically is computing the probability I show you in the blackboard. That line of code, one minus one minus one over math power two double c, basically what that's doing is computing one minus one over one over two to the certainty, which is c. So it's basically look at that line as one minus one over two to the c. So one, in this case, would be one minus one over two to the 45. And I have to cast that double uh, C as a double because that math power works with uh, doubles there. So, so that's why I have to do it like that. So that's just uh, to show you the probability. Uh, you don't actually have to do it when you run that this program. You can get uh, rid of that whole comment in that line of code. It's not necessary. But that's just to show you the probability. 
And so the next one is we'll actually define what the, uh, that uh, prime number is using the big integer constructor. So it's going to be a big integer type, as you can see there. I'm going to call it uh, whatever variable you want here. I'm going to call it same as before, probable p. And it's going to be new big integer. And now is what I have the three inputs here. The 512 is the bit length of that probable prime. The second input that you see there, that's the certainty that I described in the blackboard. And this RAN is just the random object that I'm using for, for the initial bits there. And so that's it. That creates my probable prime of probability of being prime 1 minus 1 over 2 to the 45 in this case, uh, because that's the value of C. If you change that to 45, then it's going to be something different. So in the last uh, two lines of code, there is just going to print out the result, whatever that might be. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it and I'm going to run this code and see what happens. So in that case, I get that number. So as you can see there, the number uh, that is there, which is very long, has a probability of 0 0.99999 of being a prime number. Now, that's probably a prime number. Now, I want to change a little bit the probability here. Let's say you change it to, I don't know, like a, a 60, for example. You run it again. I mean, this is not... Um, this is going to make the probability higher for being a prime. So let's go ahead and run that. Well, it says it's 1. The reason it says it's not really 1, the reason it says 1 here is because the double doesn't go up to that many digits. But it's not 1 in this case. All right, so that basically is the usage of big integer constructor to uh, give you a prime number. As, as far as, as this goes, it's better to use the other one because um, unless this is a really compelling reason, you have to say, set your certainty. It's better just to use the other one. So that's basically all I have to say about how to um, get large prime numbers in Java. So I will see you in the next video.